Isaacson, Republican from Georgia. Senator, this is all just pouring in on us right now. I'm particularly intrigued by that Reason magazine piece saying, look, 58% of the people think that government should not be providing health care. That destroys the central premise of Obamacare and this presidency, doesn't it? Well, it really does. And, you know, if you were playing baseball, 58% is a pretty good batting average. If you're in the customer service business, it's a failure. Obamacare is a failure. Now, where do we go with this? I, I've been saying that I, I think, my opinion is, a collapse, flat-out collapse, is very, very close and therefore repeal may be just around the corner. Am, am I going too far, Senator? I really don't think so, Stuart. I think we've seen the tangential evidence all along. Now you're getting concrete evidence that the system is failing. The Obama administration even yesterday said they would consider it a success if 80% of the people going on the website could get insurance. That's not a good grade. That's not good for the program. It's beginning to collapse under its own weight. And if I were the administration, I'd call time out. I'd say, let's start over. Let's get it right. They should have gotten it right the first time. Now, the people who call for that, the people who essentially stab Obamacare in the back, it's got to be Senate Democrats and House Democrats, isn't it? Well, it really does. It ought to be a consensus of all of us. You can have the blame game all day long, but the American people are who we're here to represent. Obamacare is a failure for them. It's not meeting the needs. Stuart, in Georgia, 400,000 Georgians have lost their coverage. 1,326 have been able to get it on the Obamacare website. That is not good. Is the, are the complaints to you, your office, pouring in from your constituents? You know, we did a deal on the floor the other day where we read one-minute uh, emails that had come from our constituents, real-life stories about what's happened, about not being able to get the insurance, the website failing, or fear of losing their private information to a navigator. These are pouring in. We're having people join our website just to get those examples every single day. The thing is that this is real people being affected in a real way. It's not some theoretical concept up there and how do you feel about this, that, and the other. No, these are people who have actually gotten hurt hit by these cancellation letters. It makes the whole issue somewhat different from most of the political issues that you deal with on a daily basis. This is about people's health care. It's about the most important thing for them and their families. They care a lot and they've been very disappointed in what's happened and see no secure in the future. Would you be prepared to put any odds on this, the, on, on collapse and repeal? I'm saying there's a 30 percent chance of collapse and repeal. What say you, sir? You know, I ran a company for many years, and if I had put a program forward, even with the best of effort, and it failed, I pulled it back quickly. I think eventually the administration will have to do the same thing, because you are right. It's on a road to collapse, and the odds may be 30 percent today. But if the government does nothing to pull back and buy the time to try and fix it, then it'll be 100 percent. Well, Senator Johnny Isaacson, Republican, Georgia, thank you very much for joining us this morning, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, Stuart.